It is time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Wednesday, December the 14th, 2016. Brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Funeral services for Johnny Atkinson, 69, at Farwell, Farmer, Bailey, and Palmer County District Attorney will be at 2 Thursday afternoon in the Hamlin Memorial United Methodist Church of Farwell, where he was a member, with the Reverend Joe Whitley of Farwell and the Reverend Elizabeth Harrington of Monahans, both officiating. Beryl will be in the Sunset Terrace Memorial Cemetery in Farwell under the direction of Ellie's Funeral Home of Milshew. Johnny Atkinson died on Monday morning. He was born May the 22nd, 1947 in Amherst to John Theo and Dora Lee Stanford Atkinson. He married Diane Bright of Milshew on May the 17th, 1970 here in Milshew. Johnny lived in the Farwell community most of his life. He received his undergraduate degree from Texas Tech in accounting in 1970. Johnny also played baseball for Tech and was a member of Phi Delta Theta fraternity. He then went on to Texas Tech School of Law and graduated in 1973 and joined the law firm of Aldridge there in Farwell. He was elected as the Palmer County Attorney and then became the Palmer and Bailey County District Attorney and served in that position for 28 years, retiring in 2008, but continuing in his law practice in Farwell. Johnny enjoyed the practice of law in a small town until the day he died. He especially loved taking the fight to the big city lawyers. He treasured his time watching his grandchildren play sports and spending time with them and his family. Johnny Atkinson was a member of the Texaco Farwell Rotary Club for many years and the Hamlin Memorial United Methodist Church, where he was the finance chairman for a number of years. He was preceded in death by his parents, Mr. and Mrs. John Theo Atkinson. Survivors are his wife, Diane, of the home in Farwell, two sons, Jeff and his wife, Robbie, and Greg and his wife, Allison, all of Farwell. Two daughters, Jill Anderson and her husband Lance of Austin, and Lacey Killow and her husband Jay of Lovell, his brother Bobby of Runaway Bay, and ten grandchildren, Leif, Alec, Landry, Ansley, and Piper Atkinson, John Brock, Ellis, and Fisher Anderson, and Graham and Elise Killo. The family of Johnny Atkinson asked that memorials be sent to either the Farwell Education Foundation, Post Office Box F, Farwell, zip code is 79325, or the Lighthouse Mission, 407L Casilla Street in Clovis, that zip is 88101. You can send sympathy messages to www.ellisfuneralhomes.com. And repeating, Johnny Atkinson, who was 69 years of age of Farwell and former Bailey and Palmer County District Attorney, died on Monday morning early. And... The funeral services will be held on Thursday afternoon at 2 in the Hamlin Memorial United Methodist Church in Farwell 
with burial in the Sunset Terrace Memorial Cemetery at Farwell under the direction of Ellie's Funeral Home of Milshu. Please remember all of Johnny Atkinson's family in your prayers. Boyd Magby, 87 years of age of Milshu, a longtime resident, died on Tuesday morning. He was born on October the 10th, 1931. Graveside services for Boyd Magby will be held at one Saturday afternoon in the Milshu Memorial Park. His wife, Wilma, preceded him in death on October the 6th, 2014. Please remember all of the family of Boyd Magby in your prayers. And repeating, Boyd Magby was 85 years of age when he died on Tuesday morning. The graveside service will be at 1 Saturday afternoon in the Milshu Memorial Park under the direction of Ellie's Funeral Home of Milshu. Funeral services were held on Wednesday morning for Danny Olivas, 29, of Milshu, at 11 in Ellie's Funeral Home Chapel with Pastor Ruben Acevedo of Milshu officiating. Beryl was in the Milshu Memorial Park. Danny died uh, in a wreck on U.S. Highway 84 and the YL pavement on Saturday morning about 6 o'clock. He was born May the 8th, 1987 in El Paso to Victor Olivas and Bernardina Sosa. Danny graduated from Milshu High School and attended Clovis Community College. He was an avid Dallas F Cowboy football fan. Survivors are his significant other, Nicole Fuentes, his stepdaughter, Aline Hancock, his mother, Bernadina Sosa, two brothers, Victor Olivas Jr. and Javier Olivas, all of Milshu. Please remember the family of Danny Olivas in your prayers. And repeating, the funeral was held on Wednesday morning at Ellis Funeral Home here in Milshu. Five Area Telephone West Plains Telecommunications now brings you the weather forecast for Milshu, Sudan, Amherst, Earth, and our entire vicinity. 27 was the official temperature on Wednesday morning here in Milshu at 7 o'clock. 67 was the high on Tuesday and 19 the low. And now a message from our sponsor. <laughs> Secure your life with fast technologies available through Five Area, whether you're in Muleshoe or anywhere in the world. Security and automation services for your home, farm, or business available now through your hometown company, Five Area. Plans starting now at $20 per month. Fast Technologies offers live and recordable video surveillance. Control your door locks and garage doors, whether you're in your recliner, around the corner, or in Dallas. Lighting control and motion detection. Door and window sensors receive alerts through text, email, or phone. Plans again starting at $20 per month. Call today, 5 Area, 806 272 5533, or go by their website at 5area.com. They will also be happy to give you an on site demo, so stop by their offices today, 302 Uvalde Street, on the west edge of Muleshoe, a DSL internet connection is required that's home farm and business security and automation services available through fast technologies at five area call 806-272-5533 for more information well looking at our weather forecast for the mule shoe area today on wednesday sunny high in uh, near 58 degrees West winds 10 to 15 miles per hour becoming northeast in the afternoon hours. Partly cloudy tonight, low around 23. East-northeast winds around 10 miles per hour becoming southeast after midnight. Mostly sunny for Thursday here in Muleshoe. High near 56 degrees. South-southwest wind between 10 and 15 miles per hour. Partly cloudy Thursday night, low around 39. Patchy blowing dust in the afternoon hours on Friday. Mostly sunny, high near 75 degrees. Windy with a west-southwest wind between 15 and 20 miles per hour. Increasing to 25 to 30 miles per hour in the afternoon. Winds could gust as high as 45 miles per hour during the day on Friday. Friday 
Friday night, mostly clear, low around 43. Breezy with a west-southwest wind between 15 and 25 miles per hour. A slight chance of rain or snow Saturday, mostly sunny, high near 54 degrees. Windy again with the southwest winds between 20 and 30 miles per hour, becoming north-northeast in the afternoon. Chance of precipitation is 20%. Mostly clear Saturday night low around eight degrees so that front will move through uh, bring windy conditions and finally hit saturday night again our low should be around eight degrees by far the coldest weather this uh, fall north northeast winds between 15 and 20 miles per hour saturday night decreasing after midnight sunny on sunday high only around 30 degrees northeast winds Around 10 miles per hour becoming south in the afternoon. Then mostly clear Sunday night. Low, again, very cold, around 11 degrees. Partly sunny on Monday. High only around 33. Mostly cloudy Monday night. Low around 17. Repeating our forecast for uh, today on Wednesday for Muleshoe Sunny, high near 58 degrees. West winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour becoming northeast in the afternoon. Partly cloudy tonight with a low around 23. Mostly sunny on Thursday, high near 56 degrees. South-southwest winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour, then partly cloudy on Thursday night, low around 39. Friday will have a very warm day with extremely windy conditions, gusts as high as 45. Miles per hour possible. High will be around 75. Breezy conditions Friday night, low around 43. A slight chance of rain and snow on Saturday with another windy day. High only around 54 this time. Then that cold front settles in Saturday night, low around 8. Sunday, the high only around 30, low around 11. Five Area Telephone West Plains Telecommunications has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast. In the very first district basketball game for the Lady Mills on Tuesday night, they beat Littlefield 41 to 35. That means overall their season record is 4 and 5 for the Lady Mills and 1 and 0 oh in district. The Mills are not into district action yet, but they lost on Tuesday night to level in 78 to 41. The next games will be on Friday night for the JV and varsity girls and boys. And here in Millshoe, the Lady Mills JV team will play at 5 Idaloo. And then following that game at 6.30 will be the varsity Lady Mills versus Idaloo. At 6 o'clock in Portales, the JV boys will play on Friday night, followed by the varsity boys at 7.30 playing Portales also there. Well, we're ready to take your nominations for Mrs. Santa, and anyone can nominate by calling here at Channel 6 806 272 3990. All we ask you to do is nominate a lady you think would be a perfect Mrs. Santa. I think she has to love children, be friendly and kind and loving, and also she will be honored by the Dinner Bell Cafe, K and K Pharmacy and us here at Channel 6. It's the 63rd annual Mrs. Santa for Channel 6. Now, also, please do not nominate a lady who's already been elected as Mrs. Santa. And our first Mrs. Santa was in 1980, shortly after we went on the air about six months before and that was Gladys Wilson. Then Lorraine Pagosh, Ruby Garner, Alice Kelton, Margie Hawkins, Lois Washington, Helen Hall, Ethel Murray Garlington, Katie Rubinick, Polly Otwell, Joy Stancil, Hazel, Hazel Reader Riddle, Donna Shaw, Dawn Williams, Betty Griswold, Gladys Black, 
Mary Jo Burge, Thora Baker Neiman, Barbara Milburn, Claudetta Mitchell, Velta Faye, Joyce Wright, Annie Floyd, Amelia Madrid, Lois Killingsworth, Inez Garza, Ann Sinclair, Laverne Wynn, Bonnie Carpenter, Barbara McCamish, Raquel Bastias, Ann Williams, and Sylvia Castorina have been our Mrs. Santa. And you can call now Channel 6 to nominate a lady you think would be a perfect Mrs. Santa. The number to call is 806-272-3990. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in a moment. Hey, by the way, we will be voting Monday of next week for Mrs. Santa. Well, it's the best place to get fajitas, burritos, salads, and grilled cheese. They also have the best seasoning ever. So go to Leal's Mexican Food Restaurant at 1010 West American Boulevard in Milshu, Texas. The best Mexican food ever. This edition of the Meal Train News is being brought to you today by Leal's Mexican Restaurant along with the First Bank, where the First Bank is proud to announce First Bank Online at www.fbmuleshoe.com. Transfer funds easily between accounts, make loan payments, view current and previous statement activity, pay bills online with bill pay, banking anytime with 24-7 access. Call or come by today. The First Bank here in Muleshoe, 202 South 1st Street, 806 272 Four five one five. The, the, the First Bank is proud to announce First Bank Online, www.fbmuleshoe.com. The First Bank is member FDIC. Frying Cox, 401 South 1st Street, right here in Muleshoe. And Farwell Hardware, 305 Avenue A in Farwell, Texas, has everything you need to get insulated from the cold weather. A large selection of heat lamp fixtures and bulbs now in at Frying Cox. Snow and ice melt available, including the large 40-pound bags. Get the great hot deal two-pack of penetrating catalysts and lubricant sprays for only $9.99. Also in stock and at a great price is the Ice Blaster and Prestone De-Icer, a must-have on hand during the winter months. Mr. Heater Big Buddy Indoor Safe Propane Heaters and the smaller Portable Buddy, along with the Mr. Heater Tank Tops for outdoor propane heating. Oilfield Radiator Heaters, Tower Quartz Space Heater, Bathroom Heaters, Vertical Infrared Heaters, and Radiant Heaters, a among many others available now at Frying Cox. Get the thermostatically controlled outlets, which automatically turns power on and off according to outside air temperature, outdoor faucet protectors, water pipe freeze insulation, central AC covers, floating tank de-icers, and heated hose, among many other things available now at Frying Cox, 401 South 1st Street in Muleshoe and Firewall Hardware that can get you ready for these cold months ahead. And if they don't have what you're looking for, they can special order it for you. Wednesday is the deadline for getting your contribution in for Project Christmas Card for the Parkview Nursing Care Center. Now, you can drop it off at either one of our local banks, First Bank or Muleshoe State, or take it by the Parkview Nursing Care Center. And this contribution will help make the Parkview Nursing Care Center more like home for all of the residents. Today, Wednesday, is the deadline for Project Christmas Card contributions. And right before Christmas, in the local newspaper, a giant Christmas card will be printed wishing your family and friends a very Merry Christmas. And don't forget to get that in on Wednesday. PEP High School graduation will be Friday morning at 10 o'clock at PEP High School. On Wednesday afternoon after school, the band and choir Christmas concerts will be held at 4 o'clock in the Kerry Moore Auditorium of Milshu High School. Now, on this coming Saturday night, it will be the Lighted Christmas Parade sponsored by the Chamber of Commerce in downtown Milshu. 
and before the Christmas parade, the Onita Wagner Senior Citizens will have a pancake supper for the public from 5 until 7 at the Onita Wagner Senior Citizen Center at Main and Avenue D in downtown Milshoe. And then you can stay and they invite you to stand out front and watch the lighted Christmas parade. Also, next Wednesday, that is December the 21st, they will be giving flu shots for everyone who hasn't gotten one, and K&K Pharmacy will be providing those flu shots on Wednesday, December the 21st for everyone at the Onita Wagner Senior Citizen Center. On every Thursday afternoon after lunch at the center, they play bingo. And on the first and third Tuesday mornings at 10 o'clock, they play bunko. And you are certainly invited to come and have fun at the Senior Citizen Center of Muleshoe on Main Street. Muleshoe Mules have... Jason Flores, a senior at MHS, on the first team offensively all state as a wide receiver. Jason Flores is a senior at MHS, and he caught 76 passes this season for 1,409 yards for the Mills, and he ran across for 21 touchdowns. Jason Flores, a Muleshoe High School senior, is on the first team all-state offensively. Honorable mention went to lineman Dominic Hasley, quarterback Beto Diaz. Honorable mention defensively, lineman Dagan Dunham and linebacker Mario Boo Flores, congratulations to all of those. And more congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Bruce Barrett of Milshoe. They have a new grandson born to their son and daughter-in-law, Miss Miss James Barrett of College Station, on November the 22nd. And he has been named Hudson James Barrett at birth, Hudson James weighed nine pounds congratulations to all the family of this new baby son the milshu schools will dismiss next wednesday early for the christmas new year's holiday that is december the 21st the elementary schools that morning will hold their wonderful christmas parties and on Tuesday of next week, the third grade program will be held at 1.30. And then that night, the fifth grade will perform during halftime of the Varsity Girls Lady Mills basketball game at Millshoe High School. Also, they are going to have at Dillman Elementary School on Monday afternoon at 2, a kindergarten Christmas program that all the family and friends will want to attend, Joan Nix says, and we will be there to film that. The youth of the First Baptist Church of Muleshoe will have a Christmas party Saturday, and they are going to go to Lubbock and they will be there from 4 to 9.30. The cost is $20. However, if you participate in the Saturday, December 7th, 10 until 3 workshop for children at First Baptist Church, they will discount that cost for the Christmas party to $10. That's for the youth of the First Baptist Church. The Bailey County 4-H boys and girls are selling grapefruit. They have several boxes of grapefruit, Becky says, and they can be picked up at the 
Extension Agent's Office located across the street north from the Courthouse Square at 118 West Avenue C. They're open weekdays, 830 to 5. There's several boxes of grapefruit for sale by the Bayley County 4-Hers. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just a moment. The California Pizzeria and Salad Bar is now open in Mule Shoe next door to Dollar General on West American Boulevard. Dine in or you can carry out by calling 806-559-8316. Jesus, Ophelia, and Nora prepare light and fluffy freshly made pizza dough daily along with a make-your-own salad bar that comes free with every pizza. California Pizzeria is open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. and now open open on Sundays as well from 3 until 8. Order a supreme pizza that comes with 8 toppings or make your own pizza choosing from pepperoni, beef, sausage, black olives, mushrooms, onions, jalapenos, ham, bell pepper, pineapple, or tomatoes. Choose up to 4 toppings for a medium pizza now only $7.50 or a large for $8.50. Supreme pizza $10 for a medium or $12 for a large. You can't beat those prices any Anywhere in the area. Light and fluffy crust along with fresh toppings and a tasty sauce make California Pizzeria your next stop when the whole family is hungry. The best pizza in town is California Pizzeria and Salad Bar on West American Boulevard next door to Dollar General. Dine in with Jesus, Ophelia, and Nora, or you can call for carryout 806 806- 559-8316. They're open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. and Sunday, 3 until 8 p.m. right here in Mule Shoe. Leo Neria is another new nurse practitioner at the Mule Shoe Area Medical Center. Also working with Dr. Bruce Purdy at the Family Medical Clinic here in Mule Shoe is Jana Soto. We welcome to our hospital association, Lee O'Neria, a new nurse practitioner in our hospital, along with Christy Lee, and also working with Dr. Bruce Purdy at the Family Medical Clinic here in Milshu is Jana Soto, another new nurse practitioner. And you can call to make an appointment with Leo Neria and Christy Lee, 806 272 7544, at the Medical Clinic of Milshu, which is located inside of the Milshu Area Medical Center at 708 South First Street. Then you call Dr. Purdy's office to make an appointment with Janice Soto at the Family Medical Clinic of Mule Shoe. See the new sign out by American Boulevard in front of Tattered Tumbleweed. It's just been installed. Last week's Christmas Madness sale was so successful, they're going to do it again this Saturday, December the 17th at Tattered Tumbleweed, 1405 West American Boulevard in Mule beginning at 10 a.m. until the crowds stop coming. Once again, a huge storewide sale to get all your Christmas shopping done. Get 50% off all fall Halloween items. All boots take 40% off. All clothes. Clothing get 30% off. Home decor, jewelry, gifts take 35% off. And all fell and straw hats take 35% off. Register for a great drawing this Saturday and enjoy food, fun, and snacks at Tattered Tumbleweed for their Christmas Madness Sale going on Saturday, December the 17th in Muleshoe, Texas. At the First Baptist Church here in Muleshoe, they will be wrapping on Wednesday night the Christmas and Mule Shoe packages for children here in the Mule Shoe area so Santa will not miss any family with children. Also, Curtis Shelburne will be singing during the gift wrapping. On this coming Saturday at First Baptist Church, there will be a kids Christmas workshop and party and it will be ten dollars per child sally messenger who has been the music director at the first united methodist church of mill shoe 
was honored for 20 years of service to the church as she is retiring after the end of this year. That was on Sunday morning during the regular morning worship service. Many members told personal experiences of her dedication and hard work to the church. Money given in Sally Messenger's honor went to the backpack ministry of the church, and the backpack ministry is where children come to the church on the weekend to get snacks for their weekend. And also at the Calvary Baptist Church, the ladies of that church on Tuesday evening gathered in their fellowship hall for a Christmas party and gift exchange. Please remember on your prayer list, James Brown in room 107 at Trust Point in rehabilitation after his surgery. That's James Brown and his wife Diane and all of their family are on our prayer list. Tommy Bratcher, Violet Dean, former longtime resident of Milshu, Robert Gallman, Cody Johnson and his wife and children. Cody teaches at Milshu High School. Jose Triana, Laverne Smyre, Ruth Briscoe, Aaron, uh, pardon me, Eric and Angela Hall, Tatum Hethington, Jean Paul and Corlin Jarman, Tamara Churchman, Wani Frazier, Sandy and Royce Turner, Sam Dameron, who now lives in Lubbock, Doyle and Lila Sue King, Mark Allen, AJ Ontiveris, Bob and Nina Landers, Anna B. Lane, Maureen and Robert Hooten, Louis Wayne and Wanda Schaefer, Betty Noble, Laurenette Mason, we understand Laurenette, who lives in Lubbock, is now in hospice care. Landon Nichols, Mary Ellen Robertson, Clinton and Maxine Rogers, Gladys Black, Barbara Mae Blackman, Greg Combs, Jinx and Rowena Myers, Betty Noble, Doris Scott, who is recuperating from her surgery, Dorothy Sarley, Brian Taylor, Dorothy Turner, Glenn Watkins. Always remember all of our servicemen and women and their families in your prayers. Mary Nell Bleeker, Alan Huggins, the brother of Bernie Martz of Muleshoe, Joby Garth, formerly of Muleshoe, and these families who are bereaved during this holiday season. Rob Tapley, 67, of Citrus Springs, Florida, who formerly worked here in Muleshoe at Ellis Funeral Home. Janice Bradshaw, recuperating from her back surgery. Doc Jones is back at the Parkview Nursing Care Center. Dominique Hasley injured his knee at the Lice Mills football game and is seeing a specialist in Lubbock. The family of Macy Renee Foley, 16, a student at Spring Lake Earth High School who died recently due to a very, very serious asthma attack. The family of R.L. Scott, Lois Washington, Polly Oliver, Doris Gatlin Moore, 85, of Lantana, Texas, who was a Milshu High School graduate of 1948. Neil Edward Caswell's family and Julie Maxwell of Sudan. She taught at Milshu High School a couple of years ago when she became ill.
Alan and Carolyn Smyre, along with their daughter, Melissa McGeehy, are pleased to introduce their line of custom home furnishings at Raising Arrows and their new retail location on the Wild Pavement, 91 County Road 213. That's from Muleshoe. Just take Highway 70 East, three miles to Farm to Market, 3269, the Wild Highway, then head north four and a quarter miles. The tan brick home with white trim is on the east side of the road and at the very end of the wild pavement and Raising Arrow sits just next to their home. They are open every Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. till 5 p.m., where they have beautiful custom-built furniture and home decor pieces for sale, and they can speak with you about custom ordering any style of furniture they can hand-build for you. Call anytime and talk to Alan, Carolyn, or Melissa, 806-965-2974 or 806-946-7328 or go out and see their gorgeous work perfect for the next time you need to redecorate your surroundings that's raising arrows open every friday and saturday 10 a.m till 5 p.m at 91 county road 213 at the end of the wild payment or call 806-965-2974 806 946 7328. Alan and Carolyn Smyre and Melissa McGeehy for custom built furniture, home decor, or custom orders to fit any style. Well, it's just about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train News on this Wednesday, December the 14th, 2016. Brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Lee Al's Mexican Restaurant. You can hear our latest Mule Train News program. Rotating on Reach Broadband, Channel 6 as well. Find it free of charge on demand anytime you want to listen. MuleshoeTV.com on our website. Click on the Mule Train News link at the top center of the page. I'm Tumbleweed Smith. Cowgirls on display. Details in a moment on the Sound of Texas. And the Sounds of Texas are brought to you here on Reach Broadband Channel 6 as well as MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe as well as in Morton. They're celebrating 77 years of rural electrification right here in the Muleshoe area through Bailey County Electric. The board of directors, the members, employees, the manager, CEO, David Markle, all hope that you enjoy the Sounds of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith. We're the only one in the nation who does what we do, and that's honor those women who somehow shape the American West. Dr. Diana Vela of the Cowgirl Museum and Hall of Fame in Fort Worth. We were started in 1975 in Hereford, Texas. Uh, soon outgrew our building there and uh, put out a bid and many cities really wanted to have the Cowgirl Hall of Fame uh, in their city and Fort Worth won the bid. So we have been here since I guess the mid 90s and have been in our current building since 2002. Every year four or five women are inducted into the Hall of Fame. In its 41 year history only 228 women have been honored. You know, don't let that that name cowgirl throw you off and think it's only women who do work horseback. Um, you know, we've got Georgia O'Keefe, who is an honoree, uh, Maria Martinez, who is a potter. So it's women from a very broad walk of life. They have to be extraordinary. The process of nomination is lengthy. A long letter of introduction is submitted, followed by press releases and letters of recommendation. Then three committees consider the nomination. And then it winds up finally internally in the museum where that is voted on by an anonymous committee. You can't buy a nomination. Honorees are chosen only on merit. Dr. Vela studied early frontier women. Women had to go out and help with the chores. Then when they got back, they had a whole other set of duties to do. They had to cook. They had to take care of the kids. But you don't hear about them. The two-story building housing the museum is Art Deco. The interior is striking. We engaged a design team from Paris, France to do that for us, and they have done incredible work. This team really put together something for us that was out of the box, and that's what we were looking for. Displays in the museum are always changing. With 228 honorees, we cannot have all of their things out at the same time, so we do have to rotate those things. The symbol of the cowgirl is a desert rose. Because it's beautiful, it always blooms, it thrives in very difficult conditions, including no rain. But you know, it's, it's always there. Dr. Diana Vela, Executive Director of the Cowgirl Museum and Hall of Fame in Fort Worth. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with the Sound of Texas.